Hi, my name is John Cabalone, and I wanted to talk a little bit about the website that I've been working on, uh, Sasano Chicago. This is the next step in the research that I've been doing on the Italians that immigrated from Sasano, Italy, and uh, ended up living in Chicago. This uh, project started out uh, in about 2002 when my oldest daughter got an assignment from her social studies teacher to locate her ancestors that came to America and why. And after the assignment, I just ended up running with it. In the fall of 2018, I came across uh, Peter Barbella and his Sasano project. Uh, he had done research for a few years prior to that, and he visited Sasano, and he hired somebody to take photographs of the church records at, um, at the time. He has since donated those church records uh, to uh, another website, which I'll get into in a little bit. So after I started working with him indexing the civil records and the church records, I decided to put the work together that I found on my family and some of the surrounding families. I published a book, Sassano to 48th and Federal Street, An Italian Migration to America at the Turn of the 20th Century, which is a wealth of information for those families that settled on Federal Street in the early 1900s. And um, as a matter of fact, there were several families that I had no idea at the time of that writing that I <laughs> ended up going to school with, and uh, they were classmates, and they ended up being distant cousins of mine. So the next step after the book was to actually put a live document together uh, that I can continually modify as I find more information. I was intrigued about the area uh, about this three, four block area on Federal Street and Armour Avenue, not just because my family settled in that area and the other Sassanese family settled in that area, but growing up and working downtown for a while, I used to pass the Robert Taylor Homes projects, um, the public housing that stood on that very same land. So I was just curious about that, that area. So my research continues. My website can be found at www.sasanochicago.org. Which translates to a Google website. But again, the easiest way to locate it is www.sasanochicago.org, uh, which I will include at the end of this video. When you hit the landing page, uh, it's my great grandfather, Francesco, Frank Cavallone, and the various names of the Sassanese that landed in the Federal Street area. When you scroll up a little bit, it gives a little brief history about um, the area, who settled there first, the church that most of the Italians used for their sacraments and going to their Sunday Masses. And there's a link to Peter Barbella's Sassano Project. And then I listed uh, several families that lived in the area. And if you click on any one of these hyperlinks of these names, you will get the pedigree chart of that individual going back to the early 1700s and in some instances the 1600s. And once again, that's anybody that you see on this page that may be your relative. I've uh, done the work, I love doing the work, and um, plotted their pedigree all the way back, 
which is in part due to the indexing of all of the files that Peter, myself, and Pasquale Sorello have done. Some other resources on the website include Peter's Sasano project. If you click on the link, you'll be directed to the document that he created, which has quite a bit of information about Sasano and the records. And if you scroll down to page six, this is the table that has links to the documents that um, have the indexing. This is one example, the birth records, the civil birth records of the 1800s that uh, Pasquale and Peter had done. And uh, this information is taken directly from the various uh, online records that are either at familysearch.org or the Antonetti website. So this helps you uh, locate information or the actual records to trace your family back as far back as possible. And going back to the resources, you can either click on the resource button or go to any one of these lists. We're going to click on the resources button. And here you'll see Peter's Sassano project. There's a link to the Santa Maria in Canada church records, which require a free registration of FamilySearch.org. And they're the baptisms, confirmations, and marriages from 1899 to 1915. So if your family had come over and they hadn't married yet, you can find the entry of their marriage in these records. And if they had children prior to 1916, the baptism records are located there. And it's not just the Sassanese, it's any of the Italians that lived on the south side, pretty much. My mother's family also lived in the general area of this church, so her family records are also there, and they are from um, Nicosia, uh, Sicily. Uh, there is also a link to Peter's documentation of the ancestors from Sassano that he's building a family tree consisting of all the individuals. I as well um, have an online family tree. And they differ in such that Peter's researching different areas of the Sassanese than I am. So it's good to look at both, uh, both links. Over time, I've located this extremely interesting plot map for the area. If you're into more than just the born, marriage, and death dates of your ancestors, this document, which I have linked, is the map of Federal Street actually Dearborn and State Street as well, uh, just about the time that uh, the Dan Ryan had been put in. But the plot, the, the uh, home property uh, plots are all here. The legal description is over to the right. I found this document to be extremely uh, interesting. Uh, this isn't the only document that's that's on the website, the gisapps.chicago.gov website. You can actually put in any address in the city of Chicago and find similar 80-acre maps. Some additional information, um, chicagoancestry.com. Uh, I've been working with a another Chicago genealogist, um, Kim. She's helping me obtain uh, Torrent book pages for Federal Street. And uh, so you're able to see when the property was purchased, sold, uh, any type of legal 
uh, issues that may have incurred with the property. Uh, she's helping me out with that project, and um, I'm really excited about that because, again, I want to know more than just the time that they were born, their baptism, their death, or their marriage. What else did they do when they came over to Chicago in particular? I am also in the process of documenting the uh, final resting places of our relatives that came from Sassano. You click on that link and it brings you to find a grave. And a link to my book, a link to Reconstructing Italians in Chicago. This is a, a 10th anniversary 2021 edition. Uh, 10 years ago, um, Dominic uh, from the Italia, uh, Casa Italia uh, in Stone Park had produced this book and uh, he reprinted it recently, added some updated information on all the stories. It's an anthology of different Italians in the Chicago area and um, yours truly here was able to luckily um, get some uh, information on the Sassanese on Federal Street in, the, in this edition of the book. Another very, very interesting document that I came across in my research, social conditions among the Negroes on Federal Street between 45th and 53rd Street by Alice Quan Root. This dissertation focusing on the African Americans in that area and the the awful conditions that um, they had to live in. Well, our Italians also lived in this area. And this dissertation mentions the Italians, which are our Italians, our ancestors. Um, it, it's a pretty eye-opening experience to really understand what type of, of housing that they lived in at that time. Peter's book, uh, 1800 kilometers and a Fiat 500. Um, it documents his journey in the uh, town of Sassano and his wife's hometown. Um, and uh, <laughs> it's very, uh, as far as interesting, and uh, he writes with wit. Uh, and I'll have you cracking up uh, more than a couple of times. I am also uh, summarizing all the individuals that I have documented in the family tree. Uh, this document, if you click on that, will provide you with a alphabetized and searchable record of, at this point, 11,902 uh, Sassanese that were either born in Sassano or came to America. Uh, it, this is a work in progress. It's updated probably once a month. And I've got an acknowledgments page, which um, some people that I have worked with uh, throughout the last few years that um, I had helped out. I've got a books and media link. Uh, I had an interview in January of 2020 um, with Frankie D, keeping it real, talking about the the book. Uh, I uploaded the reunion uh, that the Cavalone family had in 2019. Then the speech that I gave at IA Laterati in 2020, uh, again talking about the book. I also have a link for loved ones, family members, uh, cousins, Sassano, that have a Sassano root. Um, so, day they passed, and if there's a obituary, there'll be a hyperlink to that obituary.
the about link, talking a little bit about myself and my methodology. And uh, if hired out to do some research for you, a way that you can um, pay your invoice. And then I also have a blog that I periodically update. So um, going back to the site, the link to the Sasano Chicago uh, overall tree that I have up online, which is constantly being added to as I continue to do more research, also has links of other websites that may be of interest to you, including where to find the civil records from 1809 to 1815, the Antonetti website, uh, records from 1816 to 1865. Again, you click on these links for birth, marriage, And the civil records from 1866 to 1910, which again goes to the FamilySearch.org website. There you'll need to register for free to use the resources there. But you'll see any one of these three links will bring you to those pages, which in conjunction with the indexed records that I spoke of earlier will help you locate those records of your ancestors fairly easily. So that is uh, a brief description of the Sasano Chicago website. I hope uh, this has been helpful to you. I appreciate your time. I hope you have a great day. And if you have any questions, I will leave an email address for you to reach out to me um, to ask any questions. Thank you very much. Have a great day.